Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of Fight Zone. In this week's episode, we're going to provide you some tips on how to become a mixed martial arts fighter. So today, we're bringing you to Monarchy MMA Gym in KL, where martial arts fighter Peter Davis is going to show you how and what it takes to become a mixed martial arts fighter. Basic things you should try uh, would be Muay Thai and then on top of Muay Thai Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So get some basic striking in and uh, get some wrapping technique. Uh, that's when you start. So get some feet and hands in the go. Uh, it's always going to be safe, uh, but it depends on you and how hard you push yourself. So if it's your first lesson, take it easy and uh, work your way out. What are you going to try? Okay, well, uh, we need to declare some forms first, and then uh, we'll give you to sign in on uh, our uh, PO. Hi, I'm Peter Davis. I'm a one championship fighter, and today I'm going to be running you through what you need to become a mixed martial arts fighter. So you want to be an MMA fighter. Well, what do you need? First of all, you need to find a gym that you would like to go and train at, uh, with people that you enjoy training with, that are gonna help you grow into a better fighter overall. If you're looking for a gym, it could be a place that's close to your house, that, that would be cool, but uh, it might be even better to find a place that actually has some teachers that can teach you good techniques, like uh, for example here at Monarchy, uh, we teach uh, good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, good boxing, Muay Thai, etc. And uh, when you mix them all together, that helps you become a good mixed martial artist. To become a mixed martial artist, you can mix up a variety of different martial arts. Uh, for example, here in Malaysia, we have a very strong Taekwondo base, of course there's Silat, uh, now they have uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a lot of Muay Thai of course, and boxing. So these things, including wrestling, uh, will help you become a stronger martial arts fighter. So if you wish to be a mixed martial artist, it would be a very good idea if you pick up some martial arts. Uh, because if you were to just go to the gym, push weights, get strong, that means nothing when it comes to an actual fight. Um, there's a lot more stress on you and uh, it's much more of a cardio game and a technique driven sport than it is a sport based on just your pure strength. Pure strength alone will win you no fights, generally. Training is generally very hard, especially if you're going to be entering a mixed martial arts competition sometime soon or a fight of any kind. So what I'd say is you need to have a lot of grit, determination and commitment if you wish to become a real fighter. So that was normal training. That's my morning done. One more session tonight. But um, if you're stepping in for the first time, it's super hard. Uh, it's enough to keep you in bed for the rest of the day. And when you wake up the next day, you can't move. So be careful if you want to do it. Know what you're in for. There are plenty of different mixed martial arts tournaments that you can enter here in Malaysia. There are also individual boxing matches, there are Muay Thai matches, there are Taekwondo matches, uh, Sanda, all sorts of stuff here. So uh, if you are looking to get into a professional fight, 
you can go online and see what's coming up soon. If you like to travel a little bit, it could be pretty good for you as well. You get to go to places like Penang, go down to Johor Bahru. Of course, there are fights in Kuala Lumpur as well, but uh, it's pretty exciting to move around, picking and choosing your fights. So actually for fighters, you know, we like to look good, you know, that's why part of the reason we work out, nonsense. But look, really, if you do train, you're going to get in great shape, some of the best shape you've been in your life. And uh, it's going to be good for you. Your diet's going to change because it's going to have to, so you can do all the stuff that you have to do to be able to get into top form for your fights. And, um, you know, you're going to feel much better about yourself full stop. You're going to have uh, better cardio, you're going to have a better night's sleep everything and uh, you're going to appreciate that cake when you can have it for sure so get yourself down to a good gym that teaches you good techniques learn some martial arts of any description and uh, get fitter get healthier get better and be the best you that you can be there you have it a few tips for you if you wish to take up the sport of mixed martial arts so this is me peter davis signing off Okay, that's all right for this week's episode. I hope you guys get some good tips and hope to see you again next week. Goodbye.